This week's photo challenge was to try to create a split face portrait. A split face portrait takes two different portraits and combines them together. So for example, you might take the left half of one person and combine it together with the right half of another. Uh, in my case, I wanted to take a head-on portrait and combine it together with a profile portrait and kind of give an interesting surreal, surreal look. So I'm going to walk you through how I did that. So here are my two pictures. Here's the head-on portrait and here is the profile. Now, neither one is a particularly stellar portrait, but it shows the, it shows the concepts pretty nicely. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is to go ahead and make a copy of the profile and paste it in as a new layer on top of the, the head-on portrait. So as you can see, I've got one image with both together. So the real key to this is to mix the two or stitch together the two images so that it looks like one seamless image. And the way that we're going to do that is with the layer mask. Now layer masks are basically a way to decide whether you're going to use the pixels from the top layer or from the layers below it. It gives you a, a nice flexible way to combine the two images. So by default, the layer is all the mask is all white, which means that you're only going to see the pixels from the topmost layer. However, if I paint some of the, the layer mask in black, I'm going to start to see the pixels showing through from the, the, the lower layers. So really that's the key to this, is that we're going to try to cleverly set up a mask so that we see just the right images, uh, pixels from the top and the bottom layers. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the bottom layer for now so that I can see uh, exactly what I want to keep. In this case, I only want to keep from the profile really just, just the outline and, and my nose. Since my nose is going to stick out to the right, we want to, we want to keep that. All right. So again, you can see that everything I'm painting in black is going to be erased. I don't want my eye. We're going to come back to that a little bit more accurately in a second. And we're going to get rid of most of my neck there. All right. We can come back and clean that up. All right. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's make a smaller brush. Again, I really don't want, uh, I really don't want my, my eye and I want to keep most of my mouth from the, from the bottom layers. All right, good. So that's our first start. Let's see how things line up. So we're going to go ahead and turn back on the bottom one. And now I'm going to go ahead and use the move tool. And I'm going to try to align these as best as best I can. In particular, paying attention to how the mouth and the nose line up. All right, you can see that we're starting to get the effect here. And let's even go a little bit, a little bit closer. All right, good. All right, we're starting to get the idea. And now let's try to clean up a little bit. So in this case, we're seeing way too much of the, uh, the profile pick. So I want to go back to my paintbrush and good and turn that, uh, turn that off. Again, anything that we paint in black, we're going to see through to the bottom, the bottom layers. All right, good. We're starting to get the idea there. All right, so let's take a little bit more of the top layer here. Oop, that didn't look good. All right. Clearly not what I wanted. All right, let's move it a little bit further in. All right, that's better. All right, and you can use the arrow tools to line things up a little bit better. All right, this isn't perfect, but it kind of shows the it shows the idea. There's a little imperfection there. Certainly, uh, we could spend a little bit more time getting it, but it shows the ideas. One other thing that you'll notice is that the profile picture is uh, a little bit brighter than the, the head-on picture. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and use the burn tool and I'm just going to use the burn tool uh, to darken the highlights. So the burn tool tends to darken, the dodge tool tends to, to lighten, or does, does lighten. All right, and you can kind of see now that if I do this, uh, we're starting to get the skin tones to match a little bit more. Maybe I'll do something similar to the, to the forehead, that's probably too much. Uh, and while I'm in here, since I'm a little bit vain, I'm going to go ahead and move some of the, the shadows under my eyes. All right, and you can kind of see it's, it is coming together nicely. One of the last things I want to do is go ahead and crop it. Uh, in this case, I've chosen a, a square crop. All right, so maybe something like that. All right, we'll crop that, 
And again, we've got some problems up here in the in the hair, so I want to take more of the more of the stuff from the the bottom the bottom layers. All right, and a little bit. Uh, we got some problems here. There we go. All right. So again. You could play a little bit more with this, but you get the idea. You know, if you look at just the the outline, you see a nice profile pic. Uh, but again, if you look at the left half, you've got someone looking right at the camera. Uh, thank you very much for your time. I hope this was helpful.